Yo, what's up? It's me, it's D Wood. Just wanted to post this to thank everyone who chipped into our GoFundMe. In case you didn't see that, in case you didn't see what happened, we have two sons who have a rare genetic muscle disease. Three of our sons don't have it. And they have wheelchairs, they have power wheelchairs. We can't get the power wheelchairs into the van because we just use this uh, folding ramp. And so we got an estimate on installing a lift in our van, an automatic lift, and turned out to be massively more expensive than I thought it would be. So we did a GoFundMe and people basically replied, David, why get a wheelchair lift when you can just buy them a spaceship instead here's the money for a spaceship so now i can have elon musk build a spaceship for my kids because i have the funds this is my son reed we've got him reclining back right now but reed is now officially the wealthiest person in his family line so my dad grew up in an orphanage. I grew up in a West Virginia trailer park. Reed can now buy a West Virginia trailer park if he wants one. He has the funds. His rule over his kingdom on wheels shall be firm yet fair. So we went to the van shop on Friday and Put a deposit down now and they said it would be about two weeks to order everything that they need in order to uh get this van ready for the the power chairs which are about 400 pounds each and so they said about two weeks to order all the parts and then they said about a week to install everything and it was uh it's pretty cool that that was just completely instant i think it was covered in like i don't know an hour of setting up the gofundme over the years, my wife has proposed a number of ideas that I thought were a bit much, a bit over the top. So for instance, my wife will come in one day and say, hey, did you know that there's this system of tracks that you can put on the ceiling and it lowers a harness down to their beds and you put them in the harness and then it lifts them and carries them into the next room where it lowers them down into their wheelchairs and my response would be like, uh, or we could just carry them. And then she would say, yeah, but they, you know, they're getting bigger and it's harder to carry them and it's putting a strain on everyone's back. And, um, you know, then I would reply, well, that's what we have older kids for. I started having kids for one purpose, to carry stuff for me. I understand my back's not gonna hold out forever. So you get kids and then they get stronger. And so my inclination is, yeah, even, as, even though these guys are getting bigger, their brothers are simultaneously getting bigger. I mean, my oldest son, Luke, is bigger than I am. I'm 6'3". Uh, my son, Luke, is bigger than I am now. So what's the problem? And she would say, yeah, but Luke and Blaze aren't always around and this and that. And finally, I would just end up saying, look, if you ever see a giant pile of money laying around here, then you can do your little tracks in the sailing plant. Until then, I don't see a good way for that to ever happen. I've been saying that for years. You ever see a big pile of money laying around, then you can do what you want. Anyway, now there's officially a big pile of money laying around, so you may have created a monster here. Now, I'm not really interested in tracks in the ceiling and so on, but you know, at the end of the day, if that's what Marie wants, she can actually do that now. Um, I'm more interested in having steady, reliable, energetic nurses who are really good with our kids. Um, as I've mentioned elsewhere, there's a nursing shortage, so everyone's competing for nurses, and you get home care nurses taking care of kids, and a lot of times they're, they're doing that while they're working on some higher level nursing school, and so once they finish that other nursing uh, school, um, then they want to, to move on. Or sometimes people will sign up for home care because they have to get a certain a number of hours doing different kinds of things before they can move on to something else. And so some of them are here temporarily, but if someone wants to move on and you've got extra money, hey, 
I know how to grease some wheels. I know how to sweeten the pot, All right? So now it's kind of a situation where, hey, I finished my school and now I wanna, I wanna move on to work in a hospital. I could be like, nah, I don't think you do. I don't think you wanna go. Because my good friend, Ben Franklin, and a lot of his twin brothers really want you to stay because you're really good with our kids. So uh, anyway, it's cool to be in that kind of situation because we're not normally in a, in a situation like that. What's cool is that Marie and I both like to help out nurses who are really good with our kids, right? Like we understand nurses have lives, uh, families and so on. And so for them to do a really good job with, with our kids, we always have a lot of gratitude uh, for that. So anytime we can, we like to help out the nurses who take care of our kids, especially if they do a really good job. And so it's, uh, it's cool that we can actually um, do that for them right now. Like as soon as we had the GoFundMe, we saw the direction it was heading. Uh, we told our day nurse who she works five, five days a week with our kids. She does awesome job. She's high energy and so on. Uh, but she also has um, a daughter who's almost three and you know she has to get different family members to watch her daughter while she's at work and so on so we were able to to go up to her and tell her that um that we'd cover daycare for her daughter while she's with our kids to uh to make things easy easier for her and so tomorrow marie's going over to uh christian daycare that's right across the street from us she's gonna uh, pay a year in advance to to cover um, our nurse's daughter uh her daycare so that she didn't have to you know, shouldn't have to worry what she, you know, where her daughter's going to be um, while she's taking care of our kids. So it's uh, it's awesome to be able to do stuff like that. And so uh, just wanted to to thank everyone again. Um, I have no idea why people <laughs> why people uh, like me enough to care about me and my family that most of you don't know and so on. Um, if I, if I met me, I would not like me. My first instinct would be to punch me in my mouth if I met me. Um, so anyway, uh, for some reason, you guys um, like us and take care of us. So that's awesome. Uh, it's cool having some money to be able to, to do some things. You don't want to rely on money. And that's one of the cool things of growing up pretty poor that, you know, you become self-reliant and able to do things on your own. Uh, but at the same time, there are problems where money is just a, a an instant solution like if you need to get a 400 pound wheelchair into the back of a van having the money to just buy one is pretty quick easy solution and if you have a, a crisis of a lack of nurses in your area and everyone's competing for the good nurses well having some cash having some cash uh, definitely, definitely helps. So, thanks everyone. Should be back to posting videos. Should have a video up tomorrow morning. So, thanks. Catch y'all later.